What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Um, today we're going to be talking about something I teach to students pretty early on in their lessons. And as you can tell by the snazzy YouTube title, um, you'll be able to learn thousands and thousands of drum beats without actually having to learn thousands and thousands of drum beats. So here's how I think about it. Groove or grooves are defined really by the kick in the snare drum. In most modern pop music, you can get away, you can actually play without any hi-hat part and still carry the groove forward. Won't be that interesting, but you can still do it. Prime example is We Will Rock You. You know what that is straight away. You don't need toms, you don't need right cymbal, anything like that. So this groove builder thing is to take grooves that you already know and create various variations off of that using the idea that there are certain things we always play on the drums in most music. So if you rinse through 500 pop tunes from the last 30 years, you're going to find you generally play the same things over and over again. It's the kick and the snare drum that maybe change. So the PDF below has got the three columns. So, but if you want to write in your own, go do that. In the left hand column, we're going to write down six grooves that we know already. Now, Billy Jean, boots, gat, boots, gat. groove number one. We'll rock you, boo, boo, ga, boo, boo, ga. groove number two. Because you know those two, you can combine them. You can take the first half of Billie Jean, or ACDC, with the second half of We'll Rock You and combine them. And you get boo, ga, boo, boo, ga. Then flip it. Then you get boom, boom, ka, boom, ka. Secondly, we're going to take a groove maybe like boo, boo, ka, boom, boo, ka, and then combine it with one of the Billie Jean ones. So we're going to get boom, ka, boom, boo, ka. There's six grooves. In the middle column, we're going to think of our right hand variations. So there are six that we play normally in most music. There are others, but these are six that I, I play most often and most music is based around these. They are as follows. Eighth notes, quarter notes, upbeat eighth notes, sixteenth notes with one hand, sixteenth notes with two hands and absolutely nothing whatsoever. You can play nothing on the right hand and still have a groove. Case in point, we will rock you. In the last column, we have the six common positions that we can play those parts on the drum set. They are closed hi-hat, open hi-hat, crash cymbal, right cymbal bow, which is this chunky bit over here, the bell up here, and the floor tom. Now, if you're totally cool and hip and you've got a stacker or you've got a cowbell or you've got a third floor tom or you've got a china cymbal, obviously you can plug all those in. But I think most of you guys will have a crash, a ride, floor tom and a hi-hat. So let's try it with, let's try it with We Will Rock You. So We Will Rock You, straight up beat, boom, boom, ka, boom, boom, ka. But we're going to play it with eighth notes on the hi-hat. Now play it with quarter notes on the hi-hat. It's a very different groove. Now you could play it like that, you could play it lighter, maybe you get a kind of funky vibe. You could play it obviously in a half open hi-hat, sounds totally different, or in a stacker, or china, or floor tom, all these different things. Let's try it with upbeat eighth notes, which is the ands, by the way. So it's going to be one and two and three and four and we get this. Again, Wheel Rock You's just taken on a really like 80s disco kind of vibe. Now let's try it with single handed 16th notes, which is one E and A. Kick on the one and the and, snare drum two. Now it's Bill Withers. And finally, let's try it with two handed 16th notes. So now 
you may be thinking again, like I can do all this, but I challenge you right now to go and think of any groove that you can play totally awesomely. You're like, that's your go-to groove and you are the guy that plays that groove. You're awesome at it. It makes you feel awesome. But try it with those six different variations. If you can do it, awesome. But you might find some of them are a little trickier. Now here's the really cool part. You could play an entire song by only changing the hi-hat parts, not changing the sounds, not doing any fills whatsoever. You can lead a song up and down. Or you could play a whole song by changing where you play it. You could play the intro on a tight hi-hat. You could go up to an open hi-hat for the pre-chorus, ride cymbal for the, ver for the chorus, sorry. Breakdown could be the floor tom. Big end guitar solo could be the crash cymbal without changing anything else. So let me try and um, do it with an, another groove just to demonstrate. Let's try it with standard funky drums number one, which is like this. Cool. Now, I am gonna cycle through the different higher parts. Eighth notes, quarter notes, upbeat eighth notes, 16th notes, two hands. I'm gonna leave off six, sorry, 16th notes, one hand. I'm gonna leave off 16th notes, two hands because we're gonna get some ghost note issues and we wanna keep those ghost notes. And then I'm gonna try and play it with nothing whatsoever, which is hard, and I might start shaking this foot around. Okay, here we go. That's something I teach to all my students and I think it's really cool in that you can create various different grooves and feels off of stuff you kind of already know. So before you rush out and buy that book that promises to teach you 1000 drum grooves, just change up the hi-hat part and you've created something different. If you like this video, which I hope you did, please hit subscribe, please share it around. If you've got any questions, send me an email, Facebook and all that and I'll catch you next time.